So imagine, you agreed to run your first D&D game or maybe an RPG game. You're so excited, you're impairing your nose so diligently, and you think you have everything ready, but you don't have any monsters. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to go out to the store and spend a lot more money than you need to on cheap plastic? Or maybe you're someone like me who just wants to enjoy the hobby without trying to break the bank. Well, I'm going to show you how to create monster tokens that you can use in your games. You're watching Volcanic Night and it's time to play like an adult. Let's get to the video. So the first thing we want to do is create a new file and then set the page width and the page height to one inch each. If you're going to do this more than once ever, then you may want to consider saving it as a preset. Next thing I'm doing is moving to the ellipsis shape maker tool and then I'm going to change the fill all the way to zero so it's like a transparent opacity. I'm now changing the width of the stroke so I can make a little ring for the token. For this I'm just going to use three points but you can make it as thick as you want. Now I'm just going to click and drag to make the ring and I'm going to make sure the edges of the ring fit perfectly across the edges. Notice that you can change the width but again when you're done changing the width make sure that it all fits perfectly inside. So I want to get a little fancy with it and put a background on my token. This is because if I have a stone battle map I want to make sure my token matches my battle map. For as much texture as possible, make sure you resize appropriately. Next thing you want to do is drag the ellipses layer all the way up to the top and make sure that your texture layer is selected. Switch over to your erasing tool and then start erasing all of the background that is not inside the ring. Next thing you want to do is drop your creature that you're going to have on top of your token. You can have this size any way you want. If you want to have just a face, that's perfectly fine. It's your token. Do whatever you want. But for me personally, I'm just going to shrink it small enough so that my players know that it is a full-size skeleton coming at them. After you have it sized the way you want, you want to take your erasing tool and then start erasing the parts of the monster that are not inside the ring. Now I'm selecting all of my layers and then I'm going to merge them together so they become one piece. You're going to want to start creating a brand new layer and then make sure that the page width is 8.5 inches and the page height is 11 inches. This is the size of standard printing paper. Now that you have two separate documents, what you're going to want to do now is go back to your token and copy your token, then paste it on top of the regular printing size template. To make multiple copies, I'm pressing the alt key and then using my mouse to drag multiple copies onto each other. And that's it. All you gotta do is print them out and boom, you have free tokens for you. But if you want this to stand the test of time, then I have more instructions with materials that you can use. You wanna take your thin piece of cardboard and your glue stick and then slather it all across that thin piece. Then you want to take your printout and then line it up accordingly. Now the cardboard piece is exactly 8.5 by 11 inches, so it's going to be a perfect fit. So you know, you just want to make sure you line it up as best as you possibly can. After you're confident that you have completely laid it out flat, take out the two laminating sheets. I'm starting with the back sheet because I want to make sure to put all of my time and energy in front of the front of the layer. Now granted, this laminating sheet is bigger than the printer paper, so while yes, have it accurate, there's no need for ultimate precision here. Just make sure it's being completely covered. Very carefully, I'm holding one end of the laminating sheet and using the other hand to actually gently press it all the way across slowly so no bubbles are formed. Now I have 52 skeletons ready to rock and roll any point in the game which I feel like to ambush my party and all it took me was about 30 minutes. And congratulations, you just made your first custom token. The cardboard and the laminated sheets that I use are linked inside of the description. It is an affiliate link so it helps me at no extra cost to you. You can use the same technique to make anything whether it's NPCs, animals, objects, whatever it is you want to make. The possibilities are endless so please show me what it is you you create by tagging me on Twitter at Volcanic Knight. I would love to see what you create. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is.